two, one. Well, a welcome to those of you who are viewing online a most unique, never done this before, no. uh, kind of installation. And a uh, little explanation as to why we're doing it in this way, because we had talked about the possibility of just kind of waiting until in-person worship could occur again. But our uh, denomination, which is very orderly, because German Lutherans are that way, uh, but uh, very orderly and everything must be decently in order, uh, it tells us that for Dawn to officially be on the roster at a congregation, we have to do an installation. And uh, so we're going to do the installation in a very private way. Our head elder, Alperina, here with us. But that's the reason why we're doing it in this kind of a way. On uh, Sunday, we're going to have you kind of zoom into worship uh, during our announcement time so you can say hi, people can see your face and say, oh, that's, that's the lady we call. <laughs> She's the one that's going to help us with children and family ministry. So anyway, by way of uh, information, that's why we're doing uh, this kind of installation, kind of a private setting like this. But it is, uh, God is the one that uh, moves workers from one place to another in what sometimes seems like a very human manner, uh, but yet the Spirit of God works through that. And uh, with this today, uh, Don, you officially become a rostered member of St. Matthew Lutheran Church of Wall Lake and Wicks in Michigan. And so we invite our God as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, it's a very unique setting. We wish this could be among, with the presence of the people of God so that we could celebrate the gift of dawn to the ministry here at St. Matthew. But Lord, we're we'll doing it this way under these circumstances so she can full steam ahead under these most unique settings begin to serve you as our minister of children and family. And so come, God, may your presence signal this is important and that you're all over her ministry here among us. In Jesus' name, amen. So brothers and sisters in Christ, as you're watching in, uh, Dawn Roop has been properly elected and called to serve as our minister of children and family at St. Matthew Lutheran Church of Walled Lake and Wixom, Michigan. This ministry has been established to strengthen and support the Office of the Public Ministry and its work. It's important to hear what the Word of God says about the ministry of God's church. The Apostle Paul, led by the Spirit, wrote in Romans chapter 12. Just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it's serving, let him serve. If it's teaching, let him teach. If it's encouraging, let him encourage. If it's contributing to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it's leadership, let him govern diligently. If it's showing a mercy, let him do it cheerfully. The Apostle Peter wrote in 1 Peter chapter 4, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Christ Jesus. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. God has given a variety of gifts to the church and a variety of people with variety of gifts and passions to the church. And uh, we are so grateful God, uh, Dawn, has given you the gift of a love for kids and families. Because we need that here at this church. We desperately need that. So uh, after a long period of time of searching and praying, we really do view you as a gift of God to this ministry, to the team. And God calls us, Jesus said, to his disciples, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them, but not so with you. Instead of whoever wants to be great among you must be your servant, whoever wants to be first must be your slave, 
just as the Son of Man did not come to serve, but to serve, to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. So God calls all of us as servants in the Lord's kingdom, uh, not to be high and haughty in the role that God has given us, to, but to be served. And in your case, more specifically, to serve children and their families. That's the calling we have, to be a servant of the Lord, as we all in Christian ministry are called to serve. But that the people of God might know that you're going to do this in a way that is in accord with God's word, I ask, do you believe that the canonical books of the Old and the New Testaments are faithful, inspired words of God and the only infallible rule of faith and practice that answer I do? I do. And do you accept the three ecumenical creeds, the Apostles' Nicene and Athanasian creeds, as faithful testimonies to the truth of the Holy Scriptures? And do you reject all the errors which they condemn? Then answer I do. Now a list of our Lutheran confessions. Do you believe that the unaltered Augsburg Confession is a true exposition of the Word of God and a correct exhibition of the doctrine of the Evangelical Lutheran Church? That the apology of the Augsburg Confession, the small and large catechisms of Martin Luther, the small called articles, the treatise on the authority and the primacy of the Pope and the formula of Concord, as these are contained in the Book of Concord, that these are in agreement with this one scriptural faith, then answer, I do. I do. And do you solemnly promise faithfully to serve God's people in the teaching ministry in accordance with this word of God, the ecumenical creeds, the confession symbols of the church, the teaching ministry to children and to families as to how to live like God designed? If that's your sincere promise to faithfully serve in that way, then answer, I do. Uh, trusting in God's promise, we are to seek to grow in love for those who we serve and to strive for excellence in our skills and adorn the gospel of the Lord Jesus with a godly life. That's a way of saying that we don't just want to have head knowledge that we try to communicate, but we want to live as followers of Jesus. Is that your sincere intent? Then please indicate so by saying yes with the help of God. Yes, with the help of God. Then... Brothers and sisters in Christ, and our elder here as a witness to this, you have heard the confession and the solemn promise of this dear sister who has been called to the ministry of this church. I now ask you, our representatives of the congregation and those that are listening in, will you receive her, show her fitting love and honor, and support her by your gifts and fervent prayer? If so, answer, we will with the help of God. We will. The Almighty and merciful God strengthen and assist you always. Are you ready to assume this ministry that you've been called to? Yes, you the are. Of God. <laughs> <laughs> Would you kneel, please? No, I'm room. It is my privilege to install you as minister of children and family at St. Matthew Lutheran Church of Walled Lake in Wixom, Michigan. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray. Almighty God, the fountain and source of all wisdom, we thank you for hearing the prayers, the long and fervent prayers of the people of God in this place, that you would bring to us someone who would take the ministry, the children and family to a whole other place. We thank you for those who have gone before her in this position, those who filled in during the vacancy, but Lord, we are ever so grateful that you have brought us to her. May your hand of blessing be upon her. We, you know how, Lord, we've been praying for her in a transition that is so unusual like this, but would your hand of blessing be upon her ministry and her life and her family that you might enable her to serve the Lord you with joy to serve and help kids know the value of Jesus. Families know that they can have a, a, a family more of what you have in mind with you in the Son. Would your hand of blessing be upon her ministry to the discipling of people as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Go then in peace and serve the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Now, under normal circumstances, I'd give you a big <laughs> hug right now, but we will not. Social distancing. Woohoo! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank You're you. part of the family, part of the team. Good to be a part of the family. Very well. And we will have a proper celebration at a future time to be determined. Okay. We will. Can't wait to get to know everybody. <laughs>